Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. It is Wednesday, June 18th, 2025. Uh, this is an update for the All Hazards Consortium, the sensitive information sharing environment, where we share information across platforms from private sector liaisons at state emergency operations centers uh, to private sector organizations in the transportation, food, fuel, medical supply, logistics, and energy sectors. Uh, this is an update on uh, Hurricane Eric, uh, which has really taken, uh, taken a turn towards its rapid intensification status. It's definitely begun the period of rapid intensification, and you can see that on this GOES satellite image. Uh, this is from the NOAA GOES East satellite, uh, and it is uh, focused in on Eric. And you can see what's going on. I'll point it out here with the uh, arrow. This is the eye. You can see it developing. Uh, well, let's get a little bit closer. I'll take this full screen and show you what's going on. Uh, first of all, you can see the sea surface temperatures. It's all very, very warm all around the sea surface where Eric is. And there is little shear. That means little wind to blow clouds anywhere. You can see this concentric development going on of this storm as it rapidly intensifies. And also there is plenty of moisture in the air. So the three ingredients are there for this rapid intensification to occur. And uh, I wanna take you right down into the sector called the mesoscale sector uh, for uh, Eric. Uh, and that is what, this is what it looks like right now. Let's move it over a little bit here. So you can see what, what it looks like and look at this, this is imagery every one minute. You can zoom down even further into the eye of the storm. There is one forming. Look at all this thunderstorm activity. Any of this color that you see, since I've enhanced the clouds, that's what we can do with this high resolution satellite data. There's so many different channels to work with. We can see this dark area. These are strong thunderstorms encircling the eye. I wouldn't be surprised soon if we have a closed eye wall. There's a little bit perhaps of an opening here, uh, but the Air Force C-130 has been flying through uh, this storm. As a matter of fact, the U.S. Air Force uh, Reserve Hurricane Hunter uh, AF-306 is currently investigating uh, Eric right now and finding uh, that winds are exceeding 100 miles per hour. Now the official, the official statement from the National Hurricane Center. Let's let's put up those uh, statistics and those numbers. Here we are, the latest as of 12 o'clock. Well, there you have it. Winds have been updated to 100 miles per hour. Uh, it is a Category Two hurricane, and we're talking about winds of 111 or higher being a Category Three. So we have plenty of room in the ocean and the atmosphere for this storm to make landfall in Mexico as a Category 3 hurricane. That's a major hurricane. Right now, uh, the winds of 100 miles per hour, the pressure down to 971 millibars, and it's located 14.2 north, 96.3 west. It's moving northwest at 9 miles per hour, so not very fast at all. Let me move this down just a little bit, see if zoom out a little bit, see if we can bring in the coast of Mexico. There we go. Uh, that is the coast of Mexico here, and I'll take off uh, these statistics so we can look and see and point some things out. So uh, I'm going to go into draw mode just so I can show you what it looks like here. This is the center of the storm right here. These are very strong thunderstorms developing around that center. And the forecast is for the storm to move in this direction, right this way. So to be to the north of Acapulco, but still a very intense tropical storm with lots of rain and wind. As a matter of fact, there are many mountains in this area. So I suspect we're going to see catastrophic flooding to the north of where this storm makes landfall and along the path. And that water is going to be running down into Acapulco and into the Pacific. So we're talking about some serious flooding potential uh, going on with this storm. Let me show you what it looks like from the standpoint of that rain forecast, this rainfall forecast, because if anybody has any 
travel plans or logistics or deliveries that have to happen in Acapulco uh, after uh, tonight at midnight, uh, I would curtail those until the, the storm is over because the risk is just too great. I'll get rid of that drawing here and you can see what it looks like. So uh, here again is uh, Acapulco in here in this area. Uh, and it looks like the rainfall forecast for the National Weather Service uh, from the National Weather Service for this area has some uncertainty here. Uh, but this red area and dark red, we're talking 16 to 20 inches or 12 to 16 inches in the red area that is forecast. This is from uh, the Weather Prediction Center, partner agency and organization to the National Hurricane Center. Uh, they usually forecast the inland flooding uh, rather than the Hurricane Center. They focus on the intensity of the storm. Uh, but it looks like we're talking about some serious flooding uh, with this category potential, potential Category 3 Hurricane Eric uh, moving inland uh, during the late afternoon or evening tomorrow, Thursday, perhaps around uh, midnight local time. So let's go back to the satellite uh, loop because I do want to show you uh, what it looks like again from the standpoint of this one minute uh, satellite imagery. It's really quite impressive as these sea surface temperatures are very conducive uh, to Eric strengthening rapidly. Now, Eric will produce heavy rains across portions of Central America, Southwest Mexico through this week. But it's really life-threatening flooding and mudslides are likely, especially in those areas of steep terrain. When we talk about storm surge, uh, as Eric starts to move closer to the coastline, uh, we will see storm surge expected to produce coastal flooding near and to the east of where uh, the center crosses the coast. So uh, let's go over to GeoCollaborate because I want to show you uh, where that is forecast and I want to show you the probabilities of uh, wind. Now, here we go in GeoCollaborate. You can see Category 1 hurricane right here. It's now a Category 2 with 100 mile per hour winds. And the forecast here is for Eric to become a major hurricane uh, before it makes landfall, but devastating rainfall and storm surge uh, to the right of where the storm makes landfall. This is Acapulco uh, right here, a very favorite tourist destination. Uh, it was uh, hit very hard a couple of years ago uh, with a rapidly intensifying hurricane. Uh, they have uh, somewhat uh, regained their operations and uh, are have restored some of the resort areas there, but there's still evidence of that storm uh, two years ago coming inland into Acapulco. Uh, but now you can see the wind radii has expanded for tropical storm force winds. Let's get in a little bit closer because now we have tropical storm of winds of uh, 30, uh, five, 39 miles per hour to 50 miles per hour. Storm force winds, 50 to 73 miles per hour, and now hurricane force winds primarily to the east of the center and northeast of the center of the storm. This is a very uh, well-fed storm from a sea surface temperature and atmospheric perspective. So we're going to see this become more concentric around the center as time goes on. But we do have hurricane force winds here. And uh, what I'd like to show you is the forecast of hurricane force winds and where that's expected to make landfall. Right here is the hurricane warning. A hurricane warning has now been issued for this area. I'll bring this down just a little bit here. This is a hurricane warning. So it includes uh, Puerto Escondido uh, all the way up to uh, Acapulco where there's a tropical storm warning. The hurricane warning ends just uh, just down the beach a little bit from Acapulco. Now, let me show you what it looks like from the standpoint of the wind field and the wind field forecast here in GeoCollaborate. You can see the wind field currently. I have that turned on. Here's the wind field forecast as the storm approaches the coastline. You can see it expanding and also see it expanding even further when it's about to make landfall. 
So we're talking about major hurricane winds, winds over 111 miles per hour. That forecast here is expected to be uh, at uh, landfall, 115 mile per hour winds coming in at not a perpendicular angle, uh, but it means that as it comes in, storm surge is going to be experienced along this entire coastline. And that means these coastal roads uh, could be in danger of failing in areas uh, where storm surge could reach it. And then also here in Acapulco, look at this. The storm will be to the north of Acapulco, and it looks like winds of 50 miles per hour are forecast. But look at these mountains, very mountainous terrain, and that water is going to be running right down into Acapulco. So we do have a significant risk of critical infrastructure impacts uh, in Acapulco and surrounding areas uh, in uh, Guerrero State and also in uh, Oaxaca. So, uh, so that is the story, at least right now. And uh, we certainly do have uh, monitoring going on with this storm. Now, I do want to show you here where those uh, hurricane warnings are in effect again. That's along this red line. Acapulco here is under a tropical storm warning, but the hurricane warning ends, look at this, right at the uh, bay right here before downtown Acapulco. So for all essential purposes, uh, hurricane conditions could be felt in Acapulco, but tropical storm warning is in effect. It kind of splits the city right down the middle here. Uh, and we are going to see lots of rain in this area. Again, the rainfall forecast looks like this. We're talking about rainfall totals of uh, 16, 12 to 16 inches in the red and 16 to 20 inches in this blue, uh, in the dark red area. Uh, anywhere out in the yellow and green is a little bit more uncertain, uh, but certainly the orography, the mountainous terrain is going to squeeze out more rain. So we're talking about uh, Hurricane Eric, and Hurricane Eric is rapidly intensifying. Uh, this is the satellite image. You can see what's going on here. It is a very concentric, intense hurricane continuing to intensify. Latest Air Force Hurricane Reserve Hunter aircraft, um, AF-306, has reported back winds of 100 miles per hour. And that is why the intensity has now gone up. So we're talking about winds now of 100 miles per hour directly from the National Hurricane Center and from the aircraft, uh, Hurricane Hunter aircraft investigating this storm. We'll keep you posted. This has been a quick update on Hurricane Eric, now a rapidly intensifying hurricane and poised to make landfall on the southwestern coast of Mexico and impact Acapulco with rain and heavy winds. We'll keep you posted either later today or tomorrow morning with another update. Thanks for watching. Please watch out for your neighbors and also watch out for yourself. We have some severe weather moving through the middle Atlantic states. Keep an eye on your local broadcast meteorologist and your National Weather Service office as they issue severe thunderstorm warnings and perhaps flash flood warnings as well. Juicy day out there up and down the East Coast. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.